Well, many homeowners are turning their time at home into time well used. Hardware stores reporting an increase in sales as more people turn their honey do lists to honey done lists. Patty Santos tells the store owners are surprised at the boom in business. Hardware stores are considered essential because they carry things like plumbing, heating, and electrical supplies, something you might need at home during an emergency. People staying at home are not taking their time for granted. Well, I've already had to make trips out and buy cinder blocks. She's building a wall to put a dog tree in, and she needed more rocks, and today she needed more soil. People visiting hardware stores say their honey done list is a mile long these days. We treat in the yard and then um, we did all the bagging of the leaves in the yard and uh, we put up security cameras. Homeowners are finally finding time for home improvement projects. Yeah, I came by Saturday and they were packed. It's like everybody just needs to, wants to stay in place and oh, well, let's do some projects then. I've never seen this kind of traffic ever before. Trudy LeSage has been in the hardware business for decades. She says this latest trend is unique. People are coming in wanting to do repairs on the house, painting, lawn and garden. The demand doesn't slow down any day of the week and her suppliers are also swamped trying to keep up. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. The boom in business has also allowed her to keep her staff working. I'm usually uh, January, February or slow months for everybody. March, you're starting to pick up speed because the weather is better. But we're seeing numbers in March that we normally see in May. Many hardware stores like hers are offering curbside pickup. While the circumstances aren't ideal, many families welcome the slower pace to life. We're spending a lot more time with the kids. We're playing a lot more board games and uh, doing things outside. We put a whole garden in this year, so it, it, it's, it's been good for our family. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.